Hey, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim Rekha Kodash, Barakata. We have to give double honors to our apostles, the elders of GMS, who rule well. Mashana Kabai Lanawa Sakwamyo Sha'al GMS. You know, and uh, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalawan Wakasai Laha Bakayar Akio. Uh, this is a GMS Stop and Listen. I just want to go over a short lesson. And this lesson is to uh, you brothers who are, are young, like, and you know, young in age coming in. Because. I've noticed a lot of young, young age brothers are hanging around the camps now. Cause a few weeks ago, I had like three that was there at the camp with me, and uh, they were believing in it, what they was hearing. And they were all hype. So you know, we always tell them, "Hey, man, y'all study, y'all come on in this thing, start reading," and uh, they be excited. But one thing about uh, them brothers being young like that is that I know young young cats are worried about what the older adults might think about them, because you know they still a lot of them be under their roofs at their homes, and uh, be living with their parents or whatnot, and you know they've always been intimidated by the older people. Even when we was young, you know, the grown-ups used to have them parties, and then they make the kids come in there and dance for them. You know, that was intimidating, too, you know, within itself. So, I know that young, younger people uh, are, are be more weary of what older people got to say, because a lot of old people think younger people can't really tell them nothing, especially about the scriptures. You know, a lot of that, that old, you know, you can't put that old wine in new bottles, you know, or put that new wine in old bottles, you know. So, to the young brothers, man, I'm just going to share a few scriptures with you. Maybe to uh, build, your, build your faith up and coming on in this thing. Because Jeremiah was young too, also. You know, and I'm going to go over that right now. It says Jeremiah 4 1 and 4. Then the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thy came as forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee. A prophet unto the nations. So, what was going on here? It says, Before I fasten you in the womb, right? Before I, I before the sperm met the egg, and I, and I fasten you into becoming a human in the body, before I put that spirit in the body. I knew you. I knew you in the spirit world. He knew you in the past life, and in your past life, and in your past life, and he knew you in the spirit world. So the Lord sanctified you when he separated you, right, and made you holy, and he appointed you to be a prophet unto the nations, man. You know? Unto the nation of Israel. Because each tribe is a nation within itself, so he pointed you to be a prophet to the nations and the other nations, right? The uh, heathen nations also. It says, Then said I, Ah, Lord, Yahweh, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. So Jeremiah was scared, man. He said, Look, I can't speak. I can't go speak in front of all these people. I'm a child, you know. And he was around 12 or 13. But he was like, you know, telling the Lord, he telling Yahweh, man, I'm a child. But Yahweh said unto unto me, say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go, and all that I send thee 
and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. So the Lord said, I'm going to command you what you should speak. Basically, I'm going to put the words in your mouth. He said, be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord Yahweh. Then the Lord Yahweh put his hand and touched my mouth. And Yahweh said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. So the Lord puts the words in our mouth. What to say, man? We just have to make ourselves that living sacrifice. And, and he'll do the rest. So you brothers who are young, 15, 16, 17, who, who you're you seeing this truth on the YouTube, and hey, man, you, um, you take it to it, man, just, hey, man, put sin prayers up to the Lord, work with you, put the spirit on you, hey, come on out to, you know, because we at the end of this thing, man, a lot of you brothers going to be coming into this thing, so you can't be worried about what your, uh, adult family is going to be saying, you know, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, now, remember thy creator in the days of thy youth. It said, remember the creators while you're young. Come back to the Lord while you're young, man. It says, while the evil days come not, because before before this this gate closed, uh, of this gate of mercy closed, uh, of salvation closed, before you know, and 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 all hell started breaking loose. Remember the Lord now. You know, why the pestilence ain't ain't came on a heavy scale, and why the chip ain't being pushed on a heavy scale, and why martial law has not been pushed on a heavy scale. And before the nukes get here, come back to the Lord and remember the Lord while you're young. It says, "Not the years draw nigh." When shall they say, I have no pleasure in them? So don't be afraid, man. It's, it's a scripture saying, remember the Lord while you're young. Because when you get old, you set in your ways, man. And and you'll be hearing these scriptures, man. You know, them old heads. Hey, it's, it's hard to get the, get these uh understanding over to them. Cause they sit in them old church ways, man. They gonna die in them old church ways, you know. We get another one. It's Luke two. And uh, Luke two. And let's see. Luke two. I think it's Luke 2. Uh, I think here it is. When uh, Yahweh Shai and them parents, Mary and Joseph, had them, they used to go up to the Passover every year on this account. I'm going to show you where Yahweh Shai was a young boy. It says, and the child grew, and he waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of the Most High was upon him. Now, this is Yahweh Shai. It says, now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the Feast of the Passover. They were going to the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. Because it was a custom for the Israelites to do the Passover. That's one of our customs, man. It's one of our main ones, man, which we, about two, two new moons and uh, about two, two moon, two new moons and a full moon. Uh, we up 
about yeah two two new moons and a and a full moon away from the Passover now. We're about that far from it now. It says I'm gonna read that over and when he was twelve years old they went to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast and filled the days as they returned the child Yahweh Shai tarried behind in Jerusalem and Joseph knew not of it. So he kinda hid it, you know, he hid himself and snuck away and stayed in Jerusalem. You know? Back with him on the trip, on their journey. It says, but they supposed him to that he had been in the company. The company went a day's journey and they sought him among their kinfolk. An acquaintance, you know, probably walking with somebody in the back or something, you know, but he had stayed there. It says, and when they had found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple sitting in the midst of doctors, both bearing them and asking them questions. It says, and all that heard him were astonished, right? Meaning they were amazed. Astonished means to amaze, to astonish, uh, wonderment, to be amazed, astound, to be out of one mind besides oneself. Insane. So the, the knowledge he knew, they was like, it's just like when you watch basketball, somebody do amazing play, they always say, man, that's insane. It was, it's so amazing. They call it insane. So his knowledge, the knowledge that Yahweh Shai had sitting amongst these doctors, it was his knowledge was just insane. It was out the roof. Man. And all that heard him and his understanding and his answers, man, they just couldn't believe that he knew so much. He was only 12 years old. You know, and when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said, son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? You know, come back with us. Why you ran from us? He said, behold, thy father and I saw uh, thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, how is it that ye sought me? Wish ye not that I must be about my father's business so he must be about his father's business meaning Yahweh's business man you know so he must be about business a primary father figure he must be about his father's business uh, of all rational intelligence being Men because of the creators, the guardian protector, uh, teachers of those whom pupils track back, knowledge and training that they receive. He, he about his father's business, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's business, metaphorically, the originator of the transmitter of anything, w one who inf infuses own spirit into others whom accuate the governors in their minds. So Yahweh Shah was putting something heavy on their mind, man, about this word, man, and this understanding. He was putting something heavy on them. And he was a young dude, too. You know? And it says, in his parent, they understood not the sayings which he said. You know? So, a you brothers out there, hey, you young brothers, man, you got to uh, just don't be afraid to, to put that foot forward and come on in this thing, man. You can't be afraid, you know, because one thing about it is you got to remember that you're going to be a representative of your how about Shem Yahweh Shai any way it go. You know, you're going to be a representative. You got to represent him to the fullest. And obey the law, statutes, commandments, and have faith, and, and this, and, and go by these guidelines, and 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 don't try to uh, 
have your own prestige in this thing, man. Just be humble, you know. And two, you got, got the instructions that are in the scriptures, right? By what? Reading the scriptures, uh, prayer, you know, prayer, reading, studying, and following, um, following, following the path of 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 uh, more seasoned believers who came before you who walked the same path before you, man. You must watch them also. You know, follow their, follow them. Watch how they study. You know, see they study habits, man. You know, if they older than you, that means you have more energy than them. If they, they doing, that means you could do. You know, and that's how we look at it now because we have Apostle Tahar, man. He puts out so many videos. You know, and he's an older man. He's been doing it long, way longer than us. So we younger men, but, but he's cranking more videos out than most of us all put together. So that's a standard, you know, for, for us to strive for. If he can do it, you know, we can do it. So don't be afraid just because you're young what these old folks going to say, man. You know. And thirdly, man, just you got to remember the Lord going to use you. You be young, he going to use your skills that you have when it's time the way he wants you to use it in his way in his in his time for his glory you gotta remember that you know so with that man i want to give all praises to the heavenly father and his son yahweh bashim yahweh shai and double honors to the apostles and elders of gms who rule well and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect this is gms arkansas this is stop and listen Shalom.